Crystal here. Welcome to another video with the Interactive Immersive HQ. In this video, we're going to assemble a Prusa MK3 3D printer. So this is my first 3D printer and I was deciding which 3D printer I should get. And a lot of people were recommending a Prusa 3D printer. It's been in market for a while, so there's a lot of resources that are available. And I was deciding what model I should get. It recently came with an MK4, but I didn't really need all the new features that is included in MK4, so I ended up getting an MK3. Also, it's a bit cheaper. Well, a good amount cheaper. <laughs> and then also, it comes in an option to have it assembled or having it as a kit where you assemble together. So a, having a symbol is about 900 USD and then having a kit is about 650 and this doesn't include um, shipping and taxes. Another thing that was kind of in my mind of deciding if I should want to get a symbol or get it as a kit was that a lot of people were telling me how as a kit it help, educates you seeing how assembles helps understand how 3d printer works and also in the future if it ever something goes wrong you can diagnose it better because you know how all the parts work but i was pretty intimidated when i was looking and it says that it takes around eight hours to put a kit together and i started going in and doing research on how long it usually takes someone to assemble a kit and i would see things from it takes a few days or it took some people like a month and it would work on a little bit each day and to be honest i want to spend more time on playing with the 3d printer than putting the 3d printer together so i got a special someone to help put it together Welcome Brandon Epperson from Show Ninja. You may recognize him from the HQ, did a interview with him a little bit ago. I'll link that in the caption below if you have missed that. But he very generously volunteered his time to help build this 3D printer. So have you built a 3D printer before? Um, not start to finish. Mm. Um, uh, I've built many circuit boards um, for various things but um had friends that built 3d printers that i helped them with uh backstage of the theater like we're on a show run it was one of our backstage hobbies when they first came out was like making stuff backstage but um i tend to do a lot of sensors mm -hmm. and um microcontrollers and wireless sensors and things like that so lots of little circuitry stuff and building computers but just not specifically a printer okay uh, so the website says it's going to take average eight hours and i think it'll take two and a half days for me. How, how, how long do you think I mean, it'll take? I'm looking at photos of it and a couple rails and stuff. I mean, I'm, if website says eight, you know, I don't want to totally discount that, but I'm thinking somewhere between four and eight. Okay. I, I, I think maybe as few as three. Okay. I have a, I have the next few days blocked out. <laughs> so, um, we'll see. We'll see how long it takes. So here's the kit. I'm going to start. For assembling the 3D printer, it didn't come with a physical manual, but a QR code that links to the online manual. It is separated in nine different sections with multiple steps per section. And when you are in the section, it tells you the difficulty level and the step number, the beginning, and what tools you'll need. I liked how on the different steps it has an option to leave comments where you can see what other people have said in the past it's usually a indicator when there's a lot higher comment count that is something that it gives notes of things you should be careful about but so we separated this in seven sections in y-axis x-axis z-axis e-axis lcd assembly heat bed and PSU assembly, electronics, and we timed each section so we know how long it would take per section. We started with the Y-axis assembly. It was listed as a moderate difficulty with 40 steps. Early on, we noticed that it would be a good idea to work over a towel just so we won't scratch the table and also avoid having screws rolling off the table. Brandon's used to working with a headlamp on which came in handy while working with small parts and in little cracks which there was a ton in the 3D printer. 
One of the most tricky sections for the Y axis is towards the end doing this belt thing. There's some screws behind it and trying to get the screws while not breaking the belt. The total Y axis assembly section end up taking two hours and 15 minutes. The second section we worked on was this X axis assembly, which was listed as very easy with 14 steps. This took a lot faster. While working, I noticed that a lot of parts were also 3D printed, which is fun and inspiring to see what can be made with a 3D printer. This X axis section ended up taking 26 minutes. Hey there, sorry to interrupt the video, but I wanted to share something with you real quick. Right now, you can get 50% off the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community of its kind for touch designer professionals, interactive and immersive media pros, and creative technologists. We've got over 200 hours of video training, a private community where you can ask Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other teachers questions daily, and we've just launched the first mini degree program for the interactive tech and immersive media industry. If that sounds interesting, click the link in the description to learn more and join the HQ Pro for 50% off. Remember, offer ends May 30th. The third section we worked on was the Z-axis assembly. It was listed as very easy with 11 steps. Even though it was listed as very easy, there were some little tricky bits, putting in nuts into 3D printed pieces. You kind of have to really squeeze it inside. And at the end, the Z-axis section took 45 minutes. The next section is the E-axis. It is the most difficult with taking the most time. It is listed as very difficult with 72 steps. My favorite part of the section is the extruder body part early on that uses magnets to repel on each other. It's important to be careful and take your time in this section so you won't put things in the wrong direction. At the end, this E-axis assembly section took us three hours and 16 minutes. After that long, hard section, the LCD assembly was a lot easier, listed as very easy with 11 steps. It ended up just taking 15 minutes to work on this section. Second to last assembly section is the heat bed and PSU. It is listed as moderate with 26 steps. Towards the end, I noticed there's a lot more comments in the manual and I feel like it is a lot more helpful if you have some circuit building experience the heat bed section to end up taking 45 minutes. So this section is largely just about cable management. Um, you really want to follow great fundamentals of strain relief and how neat your being as you build it back because um, if you don't you can end up kind of pulling on the circuit board pulling things out that'll cause you problems later once the motors start moving around rapidly um, you want to be careful about the clearance underneath the bottom so that it also still sits very flat on its feet or you won't get accurate prints the last electronic assembly section ended up taking an hour and 57 minutes all seven sections total end up taking nine hours and 24 minutes. So we're done making the 3D printer. So <laughs> how was it compared to what you thought it would be? Um, I feel like it was pretty much what I thought it would be. Actually, the instructions were really good. The instructions were good. Actually, the, the web-based instructions where other people can comment, I thought was really interesting because there's certain steps where it would be like 60 comments, you know, and... You're like, oh, that one I need to take care of. Yeah, it'd be good to look at it. It was like, oh, all these people had kind of a similar thing they experienced. So that, that was actually really helpful. I think I'm surprised that it says it takes around eight hours. Eight hours is... I if you do this a lot. I think you do yeah. this a lot and you make no mistakes. And I feel like yeah. it's very easy to do mistakes because there's so many parts and it's like easy to just like flip it around or something or like, and then you, I think it would, it would take a lot of time if you do it wrong and then like disassembling it because the disassembling yeah. part, because there's things where you're like having like little nuts inside of a thing and I'm like, it's like hard to put it in and I can't imagine how hard it is to like take it out. Yeah, if you and like, accidentally... And also break it too. Um, but I think, yeah, it's, it's, it is valuable to put it together to understand how it works. And it's also like fun to see also the parts of the proofs that are also 3D printed. It's like, oh, I can print this Most of parts. Most yeah. seem to be. Yeah. Um, uh, 
Yeah, definitely. Like if you flip one of those nuts and press it into the plastic, like getting it back out can be quite difficult. So you want to like really look, basically just really look at the pictures and the orientations of things before you do the step, like look at them a few times. But to be honest, I think if I, if you weren't helping, I don't, I think it would take me like a month <laughs> to do it all day. Or like, not like, I, it's just like a little bit and I'll just like be real frustrated it's like I'm gonna just put this on the side <laughs> and I'll quirk on this when I can't do it and like it was actually tiring it, you know doing it all in one sitting just your neck and like the position of just being at the table for like 10 hours or whatever it was like it it was actually a little tiring and yeah even even having a lot of experience with microcontrollers and all that still just taking my time and trying to make sure it didn't mess anything up i mean it was what 10 hours or something a little bit less than 10 hours but yeah. that yeah that was like timing like every everything every portion yeah and stuff. But, but yeah it was, um, eight is like that's like you do this all the time yeah kind of thing. You're, a, <laughs> you're a beast <laughs> but yeah but now i'm have a 3d printer to play with so uh thank you for watching the video and if you want more content on what we'll make with the prusa please let me know because i would love to share if that's something you want to join into the 3d print printing journey with me and see you guys next time bye bye say bye bye <laughs> Hey folks, thanks for watching. As I mentioned earlier, you can get 50% off the interactive and immersive HQ Pro. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community of its kind for touch designer, immersive design, and creative technology professionals. We've got over 200 hours of video trainings, a private community where you can ask Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other teachers questions daily, as well as the first professional certification program for touch designer users. We've also just launched the first mini degree program in the interactive tech and immersive media industry. If this sounds interesting, click the link in the description to learn more about the interactive and immersive HQ Pro and join for 50% off. Remember, offer ends May 30th.